Okay, so we're just going to be replacing a set of alternator brushes on an FCJ80 Land Cruiser. I'm guessing it's pretty much the same for any other Land Cruiser alternator, but this is just specifically for the FCJ80. Righto, so all we need to do is there's your little retaining nut here where your positive wire sits on your alternator. So we just need to undo this fella here. And once we've got him undone, that's your little um, insulator for your electric connector. So we've got three eight millimeter nuts on the back of this alternator housing here. So we just need to undo heat these. Okay, and once we've got them undone, take those off. And there's also a little um, Phillips head, eight millimeter head here too, and that's got a little bracket here. So you can either either do that with a uh, Phillips head screwdriver or Probably an 8mm socket would be the best way to go because you don't want to um, strip out that head, that screw. So once you've taken all those off, we can just lift this cover off here, back of the alternator, and that comes off there. Oh, don't forget this little bracket, don't lose him. So what we're replacing is just this little fella here which is your brush holder on the back of the commutator. So, you've got two screws in here. You undo them. Put them aside. And you've got another screw over this side here. So once we get them out, you can just wiggle your brush holder out and he pops out here. Now, I've got the new brush holder here and you can see the difference in length between the brushes there. Oh, sorry. So, that's the old one and that's the new one. So it must just be over time, these just wear down. There was nothing wrong with my alternator, but I'm doing a bit of a trip in September and I thought it'd be a good time just to change these out. I'm replacing the radiator and the water pump and everything, so I thought while the radiator was out, it'd be a good time to do it. So there's a little bit of crud just in the back of this alternator here, so I'm just going to give that a bit of a blowout and that looks fine. Now if I just get another torch here somewhere here we are oops trash the workshop just having a little bit of a look at that commutator shaft there and see if there's much wear on it but this one doesn't look to be too bad so I think we can just roll with that it should be fine so we just take a brush holder here and when you put this back on, just depress the brushes with your fingers and just enough to slide them over that commutator shaft there at the back. You've done that there and your screw holes will line up. And it's pretty much the reversal of what we just did. We'll take our screwgee. Get these lined up. Bit of a pain sometimes. Get the other one lined up first, I think. Might be a bit easier. Okay, 
Okay, there's one in. And just grab this other one here. This um, screw here, it's not a Toyota screw out the back of the alternator. I opened it up before and just have a look and try to undo this screw and I stripped the head out on one of them so I just had to get a screw from the shed and cut it down a little bit but same thread. So just be careful, spray a little bit of um, WD-40 or CRC or something or some inox on the back of them so you don't strip the thread out, I uh, strip the head out on the screw, sorry. So anyway, that'll be good enough, it's just a screw. Be tight enough for what we want. Just make sure those are nice and snug, which they are. And then all we need to do is just, look, that little rubber boot in the back there is fine. So line up our little channel here with our little insulator housing there. And these go over these studs anyway, so you can't really misalign it. So we'll just pop him, and that's got a little flat in the keyway, so you can't really stuff that up either. Well, apparently I can. Oops. There we go. Just take him. Just put that back on there like that. Now that's a uh, 12 millimeter for the nut I'm screwing on now. And these here are just 8 millimeters, 8 millimeter nuts. So I'll just take that uh, little bracket I had. Yeah, I wonder here where he went. That's always a pain when you put something down and you lose it. Hmm. Oh, it's back here. Yeah, that'd be uh typical. Down the back of there. This thing's always kind of happened to me. Okay, so we just sit that on there like that now. Now this one goes that way. And there with the detention. Yep. Just take this screw here. Pop him back on there. Just take our three eight millimeter nuts, put them back on. And from what I've heard, they um, a lot of these alternators they can last a long time because they're pretty simple. Oh, the old Japanese trucks, which are really good, um, and from a lot of the sort of reports and articles I've read on the internet, they really just need a um, a new set of brushes just to sort of get them going again. And there's nothing wrong with this alternator. Well, when I stop driving it, it's just Okay, and that one there is a 12 millimeter. So just make sure that's on there. Mm. Snugly, not too tight, but just snug enough that it'll hold it. Yeah, call that good. And then these here, well, they're only 8 mils, they're only tiny, so they don't need to be that tight. Okay, righto, and that's all ready to go back on the car and get bolted up. Thank you very much for watching.